Hi, Denise Jordan here, and I've got another page for you in my beauty book. As you know, this chapter is about BB creams, and I have been working, just kind of feeling around and playing around this week to see how it goes. I've been wearing the Iman BB Green Cream in clay medium all week, and I think I've gotten pretty good results with that. But today, since I was off today, I thought, let me just kind of fiddle around and just really give myself a chance to see what two different ones would look like at the same time. So I put the Iman BB Cream in Clay Medium on this half of my face. And I put the um, Maybelline Clay, not Clay, but the Maybelline Medium Deep on this half of my face. And then I made up my face as usual. I kind of wanted to see how it looked when I did that. And I thought, you know what, it looks pretty good. One of the things that I've been making sure to do when I put the makeup on in the morning was to blend really well. And I used my buffing brush to really make sure that I got it buffed out pretty good. So you really couldn't tell the difference. There was like no line or under my neck, no obvious demarcation. But I really wanted to see how the two would look side by side. So this is how they look side by side. After I got the got the BB creams on, I went ahead and put on my MAC concealer in NC45 and I used it in this area here because I've got some discoloration on my upper lip. I feel like it covered it up pretty good and I didn't use any highlighter. It seems like the MAC concealer serves as a pretty good highlighter also. I also wanted to try a different eye color. I know it's hard to tell eye color behind my glasses, but that's where I'm at. But I, um, when I was looking at her mom's website, she had this really cool pewter gray eyeshadow for the BB cream she selected for me in the clay medium. And it was a pewter gray. Well, I thought, I am not buying another product so I learned how to use what I've already got. So I do have this Naked 2 by Urban Decay. And in this particular palette, there is a pewter which kind of simulates that pewter color. It's called Pistol, but it, I thought it looked pretty close, at least from what I could judge from looking at the picture online and looking at the palette that I had. So that's what I've got on my eyes. And then I went ahead and did my usual cheek color in Majorette. And then my contour color today is Terracotta by Guerlain. And I really like the Terracotta by uh, Guerlain uh, contour color. It's not too red. It's not too deep. It gives me just enough of a contrast that it looks natural, but it's not too out there. So I really like that. For my lip color today, I've got on a combination by Merle Norman. And it's one I've had for a very, very long time. This particular color is called Spice. It's like a gloss. Well, I should say more like a matte finish on the one side, but you put it on with this little adapter. And then the other end, there's a clear shine that um, I put on. When you look at it, it doesn't look very clear right now because I've used it for so long. I've kind of gotten some of the lipstick into the shine part. Um, but I just kind of wanted to see how that would look because I hadn't worn it for a while. And I was really trying to do an overall different kind of thing. So here you have it. So I went downstairs to show my husband. I said, honey, what do you think? He said, you're beautiful. I said, oh, honey, thank you so much. Now, what do you think? So then he kind of peers into my face. He's like, is this side darker or is it just a light? I said, well, let's go in the bathroom and we can take a look. So we go into the bathroom where the light is really good. I put in two 75 watt GE daylight bulbs so that I've really got good lighting in there when I put on my makeup. And then we looked in the mirror and he said, I think this side's darker. And he's right. This side is darker. This side is the one that has the um, um, I'm on a clay medium on it. But you really can't tell a whole lot. If you just look at me face on, unless you're really peering into my face, they're pretty close. So either one of them would work for me, making sure that I'm careful to blend it out. So there's that. And um, here you have it. So I'm pretty pleased with both of the BB creams. I'll probably go with the Maybelline for the rest of the week just because I feel like it gives me a better look. Oh, and I did try to use the Matte Prep and Prime uh, Translucent Powder as the finishing touches. 
I felt like it gave me just a little bit of a uh, an ashy cast. And one of the first things my husband said was, I don't want you looking like a ghost. Which, of course, I don't want to look like one either. So I might try to try that uh, Benet powder, that banana uh, powder that Benet has. And then mine also has some kind of a gold translucent powder, too. So I might try one of those just to see what kind of effect I get with that. So the last chapter, uh, rather the last page in my chapter on BB creams and Denise's beauty books. So we'll talk again soon.